out here uh, in the truck stops and stuff like that, you know, they say, well, I don't want to be forced dispatch. And at first I was kind of saying to myself, like, well, what do you mean? What What is forced dispatch? Well, that is a dis bingo. Uh, they'd be like that. That is a dispatch that you. You, you know get. what that means? That means they've run. They've run to Seattle every trip for the last six months, and they're tired of it, and they don't want to be forced to it again. I understand it. I really do. Mm -hmm. But hopefully, with us, there's a different. We don't run any certain lanes, so there's a variety of different things we do. Now we do have certain customers that we do run certain things but i'm just saying uh we've got different flavors different routes different this you know c different customers so it's not like they're doing the same thing. i thought the guy just last week is working for fedex he's been with 17 years running the same lane for 27 years mm. and he is so tired of it that he's almost ready to willing to give walk away from making $98,000 a year. And I talked to him and I said, look, I said, I'll be honest with you. I don't know of anywhere you're going to make that kind of money. Nope. And I said, you know, you may just have, to, he's going to retire in five years. And I said, you may just have to endure it five more years. And after we talked about it for a minute, he decided to stay. Because I think it would be a terrible mistake for him to walk away from making it with a good run, the same run, and making the money he's making. It would be, a, and him going to retire in five years, that would be a travesty. So I just think what I do as a recruiter, I think if the driver needs to, wherever he goes, he needs to be happy. Or the or the spit like this, as happy as you can make him. Everywhere you, I don't care where you work. There's gonna be there's gonna be good and bad. There's gonna be pros and cons. So you just gotta pick your pros. Now our pros is I think salary for a mid-sized truck company. You're not a number. Our 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 dispatch knows you. We don't have a hundred dispatchers. We got like four dispatchers. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we try to keep it simple. We're family owned. So there's a lot to be said about all that. All right. But all right. paying $98,000, no, we don't. We don't. You'll never make it here. Ninety. I don't see it. $98,000. So unless you work for Walmart. Yeah. But uh, there's yeah. very few carriers. You, you're going to hit that, that number. <laughs> I, you, you know, I, I was talking to I, I was talking to another trucking buddy of mine, and mm -hmm. I, I I was I, we're in this Facebook group we're we're in this Facebook group called Lockout Men Makes the Call, and we was talking mm -hmm. to each other, and I, I I threw out the question that you know throughout my research of all these companies that I've talked to, I have yet mm -hmm. spoken with a company that that's like that that's like offering six figures or a company driver has yet to make six figures now i know an owner operator maybe lease and i you know maybe maybe them i see them but as far as a company driver you know as as you offer you know if you was doing cent per mile you you your top tier offer is what 49 cent a mile right so yeah, that probably about right. You know, mm -hmm. in, in other companies I, I talked to, they was offering like fifty cent a mile, uh, and mm -hmm. the top tier will be sixty cent a mile. But as you said in the beginning of our conversation, the miles fluctuate. You're, mm -hmm. you're not going to get three thousand miles every week because it right. fluctuates. So I yeah. have yet to see. You know what what these guys are talking about in the group like yeah you know i work for this company mm -hmm. i'm a company driver and i make uh i make 90k i make uh i make uh you know six figures and all like that and i'm over here like okay well what's the name of that company as a company driver because is it w2 or is it 1099 and they just they just stop talking after that right. now if it's 10, yeah if it's 1099 then yeah i could mm -hmm. i could probably see that because 
the company pretty much took the responsibility off of them and put it on you. Right. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I could probably see six figures right there. But as as a W-2 guy, I, right. I have yet I have yet to talk to anybody that 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 offers that, you know, the, the you know, just like what it is on every on every company I talk to on every website that I've seen. The, the, the starting salary is like 65, 65 to maybe 70, and that's about it. Right. Uh, but uh, but you guys sound, you know, like I said, you guys sound pretty good. I mean, you know, what you guys is offering, uh, as, especially for a driver that, that has, you know, a year of experience, and he wants to mm -hmm. come in and just, you know, drive for salary and just, you know, with that, still be able to drive to see the states or whatever the case may be and still get a, right. a, a set uh, a set salary every uh, every mm -hmm. week. So, yep. yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that sounds yeah, that, good. That's my thinking is uh, the fact that um, as far as salary. Now, uh, but, yeah, I, and I'm saying people can make more money somewhere else with That'd be ludicrous on my part, but uh, I think every carrier has to have their little niche, and uh, and ours is family-owned, mid-size, salary, uh, and you're not a number. And uh, they may make more money with the big boys, and and but they're again. Uh, where where are they as far as a as a uh, you know do they know their name do they know their kids do they know their wife and if a lot of ours they do they know they can tell you their about their family or whatever so and I've always said it like this it's like a church if you go to First Baptist Church in any city with a say they got two thousand members. Well, that pastor's gonna be hard to know them personally for two thousand members. Mm, if you well go to the, go to well go put. to a church with a hundred members, he probably can tell you every name, every every where they came from in their life, mm. uh, what obstacles they've come through to get where they're at, and so it's a way of the trucking company. If you're U.S. Express, does Clyde Fuller or does Max Fuller know all? <laughs> Everybody or David Parker know about it, Kevin? It nope. no, it, 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 there's no way. But with us, it's a lot easier. And and uh, matter of fact, that that's kind of the way I look at it. So, well, you know, put. Well, well put. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Well, you know, I know I took up a, a lot of your time, and I really do appreciate no that, problem, you, uh, huh? that you're giving me your time. But um, my last few it. questions is. Um, do you guys offer a uh, a sign-on bonus, and what's your what's your turnover rate? Our sign-on, we don't offer sign-on bonus. To be honest with you, and our turnover rate it is low. Is it is it is low? Yeah, you uh, it, it's. Uh, I wish I could give you a number. I hadn't come, I hadn't done it. Uh, I've only been here three months. I hadn't been. Well, I hadn't well no, that's put that's a pencil to turnover. That, that's quite uh, all right because I, I already figured it out. You right when you said that you don't give a sign-on bonus, so uh, your turnover rate gotta be like in a in a low variance because I I talk to companies that has uh, that gives a sign-on bonus, say like five thousand or more. Their turnover rate variance is in a is in the high percentages, so. Yeah, just by you saying that y'all don't give a turn, uh, that y'all don't give a sign-on bonus, I, I can automatically assume that your turnover rate is low. Hey, Sean, I uh, hear you now. Okay, okay, yeah, we got uh, we got disconnected, but I'm uh, I'm I'm at my last question anyway. Um, what can get drivers disqualified when when they when they you know put in their applications and everything, and you guys? take a look at their backgrounds and everything what 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 can get them disqualified well, I well of course i think with most cares 
DUIs in the last five years. Uh, if you've had uh, so you know so many accidents over a three year period, moving violations, you know excessive moving violations. Um, yeah, you know, pretty much. Right. You know, um, that's pretty much it. I mean, Oops, I think we've tried. I think most carriers are trying to be as uh, uh, straightforward. They, they try to be as yeah, straightforward, and and and, and I don't want to say uh, you know they they want to be they're probably less strict than they used to be in a sense. Um, in 2019 is totally different than you know 2021 exactly. so i think all carriers are going through the same same issues as far as uh hiring but you always you need to keep your standard mm-hmm. uh you need to keep it at a certain level you can't just you know to me so um where all cares, I'm sure, is looking for the for the the best of the best, but you know, it's just uh, there again. I mean, you got a severe driver shortage right now, and a lot of the empty trucks sitting. So, uh, and it's up. To I you. think you're. I think you're all. Put, it's up to you guys. That's to right. Fill. I think everybody's up. They're they're at right now at, at the um, guardrail as far as their hiring criteria <laughs> i got you uh, so but That's i'm but i'm not going to hire a, yeah i don't i'm not going to hire a driver i know it's it's not it's gonna get on the road and endanger someone or themselves uh i don't think it's worth it because you know i think i think uh i think you really have to evaluate uh and the restrictions may not be what it was in 2019, but I, I don't think we should be so open now that you're just going to bring somebody in because they got a pulse. See, there's some. Exactly. I, you know. All right. Well, thank you very much, brother man. I really do you appreciate it, your time, man. Um, All right. And 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 again, uh, I know how to you know get on the uh, the application. I can fill out online, right? Yes, sir. All right, cool, awesome. Yep. Um, like I said, you know, this is for my for my research purposes, and I will definitely uh, I will definitely pass this on to other drivers as well because, you know, you you you, you know you gave me good information, and I could pass this on to my uh, to my group and everything on my on my social media, you know, because I do have a social media presence. That's great. That's uh, great. Yeah, we. Uh, I think, uh, like I said, the being a mid-sized carrier makes it so much more uh, more of a draw to it or more appetizing to drivers uh, than just, it's just not just salary, you know. Right. Awesome. All right, my friend. All right, well, you, you have take a it good, easy. Buddy. You too. Now you have right. a blessed Thanks. day. You too. Thank you. You're Bye-bye. welcome. Thank you. And there you have it, everybody. What do you guys think of that call? Leave your comments in the comments below. If you're a driver for uh, Great Plains, definitely leave your comments in the comments below as well. Let me know uh, how the company is treating you. Uh, what is going on over here? Who are you talking to? Uh, let me know how the company is uh, is treating you. Is the, is is twelve hundred and fifty dollars? a week base pay salary uh you figure whatever your tax bracket is mine is always in the 300 so i'm looking at take home pay about 950 dollars give or take uh, is that about right uh, 350 subtract right. yeah about 950 dollars now for you new jacks that's coming out in this game you, you know they only require uh, one year of experience. So if you working at a starter company and you fig- you feel that you know you want to you know level up and go with uh, go with a company that that pays you uh, that pays you 
salary every week, that pays you for your home time every week, uh, that pays holiday pay, that you know that your benefits is only $33 a week, is 900 you know, for me, it's $950 is good for you, maybe. I mean, you know, in your trucking career, you know, this is just subtle steps. After 90 days, you get 1300 So that my take-home pay will be a grand a week. Uh, you average about 60, about 60, 65,000, uh, 60, about, yeah, about that much every year. And like he said in the call, they're not going to, you're, you're not going to get 90K with that company. You, you you just not. Look, what I need to know from you guys also, which companies, man, and I need receipts, all right? I need receipts, man. I need to know which company, company that's offering six figures, 90K to six figures or more, W-2. Not 1099, because a lot of you guys coming into the Facebook group over here talking all that yin yang, and y'all not showing no type of receipts. Y'all not. So how am I going to believe that? I I did this I did this series right here for five years, and out of five years, I have yet yet to come across a company that's offering six figures or anything past 55 to uh, 55 or 60 cent or more unless you're a 1099 driver where you could come in making about a dollar 10 about a dollar about a dollar 10 a dollar 20 and as a company driver 70 cent a mile now I've seen lease drivers, uh, owner ops. They they command that kind of money, but they taking all the responsibility. They command that. I talked to a young lady that owns her own fleet that just did two million last year, so they can command that. But I'm talking about as a company driver, as a company driver. Do you guys know of any company out here that's commanding six figures, all right? Six figures, and I need receipts, and it has to be a W-2 company, all right? Let me know. It can't be your company. It has to be, it can't be your company. It has to be a company that I haven't talked to yet. Let me know in the comments below. I, I need you guys to go on a search. Um, Great Plains Transport out of North Dakota. Man, out of the cold front. <laughs> out of the cold front of North Dakota. Ma Mapleton? Maple Town? Maple something? Maple? I don't know. Mapleton, North Dakota. If you guys want to know more information or talk to the talk to the recruiter, the phone number there is uh, seven zero. Hold on, okay, seven zero one two eight one three zero zero six. You might have to, you know, press whatever buttons because they only got like three options. You just press one of them, and then they'll send you over to the recruiter to come on with Great Plains. If you want to, their website is greatplainstransport.com. Uh, if you're interested, you want to fill out the application, there you go. Click on the apply now, fill out the application and all that good stuff and see if they will bring you on. Uh, again, uh, salary, $1,250 to start, $1,300 after 90 days. All benefits, 401k, all that good stuff, holiday pay, home time pay. Uh, you're able to take the trucks home. They got new uh, T680s and freight liners. They come equipped with the amenities that 
you know, they come equipped, you know, ref, uh, refrigerator, the, the, uh, the, what do you call it? The refrigerator and what's the other thing? The APU. And, um, and yeah, yeah, Great Plains Transport out of Ma Maple, Mapleton or Mapletown, North Dakota. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode of the uh, MTC on the Lockout Men podcast show. I want you guys to like the content. If this content brings you value, share the share the content to let the you know to get it out there let people know that this company is looking for you you know shout out to my man colonel p for suggesting the call thank you very much great plains transport get your suggestions in now if you'd like for me to make any calls to any company that you're interested in if you want to shout out that is easy to do all you got to do is hit me up in the cash app hook a brother up with some coffee that's lockout men dollar sign lockout men um you know you can get your shout out put the name of the company that you want me to call in the cash app so i would know who to shout out and what company to call uh again colonel p you know shout out to you man thank you very much for making this suggestion and there you guys have it great planes transport what do you guys think of the call great call is there a company that you might be interested in? If so, give them a call. Until next time, everybody, I am Lockout Men. I am for the new guys. That's who I am here for. All new guys. If, if anything that I bring value or anything like that, again, share it. Let the new people know how they can get in contact with the Lockout Men podcast show. All right? Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for watching.